be your uncle's date. sing a song, and one that I've always wanted to sing, and I'm pretty sure that you don't hear this too often on television. Where the sun 
Ginger, Fred goes away, Fred comes back, Fred loses Ginger, Fred gets Ginger back, and Fred and Ginger get married and dance happily ever after. <laughs> Let's do them all, and, and we'll, we'll be, be dancing, dancing like we're floating on air.
Eddie. Oh, thanks, kid. And this is for you. <laughs> Gee whiz, thanks. What is it, Eddie? I just got an invitation through the mail. My presence requested this evening informal, no top hat, no white tie, no tails. Oh, but that means... Right. I've got to get back in the uniform. Must be Berkeley has been fired upon. Oh, no. My dance box reads the song. So long, baby. Wait for me. So long, Eddie. Remember, my heart is yours. And so are my feet. <laughs> They wouldn't come to the house. Come on. <laughs> As you listen to the band, don't you get a bubble? As you listen to the play, don't you get a glow? If I step out on the floor, you'll forget your trouble. If I go into my dance, you'll forget your woe. So come get together. Oh, 
friends. I just love your friends. They're very good friends of mine. Alice Ghostly and Rich Little. Now, there's a man. Bogey. Wake up. You might learn something. Hey, drunk. Oh, you're not fooling me for one minute. I know you're alive, Lump. Some husband. You don't even get up when I change the sheet. When you're hot, you're hot. And you're not. You and me again, Bogey. Oh, Try it again, Sam. Uh, no, boss. No. You play it for her, you can play it for me. If she can take it, so can I. Play it. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she had to walk into mine. The woman I love left me in a plane to face you. I'm at the look of a guy whose inside's been kicked out. Now she's finally coming back. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Now you haven't changed a bit. Neither of you, Rick. Stop undressing me with your eyes. Help me, after all, I, I'm only human. Sit down, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, yeah. You'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you just want to get me tipsy and take advantage of me. You just want to follow me up to my room and remove my hair curlers. <laughs> oh, maybe you forget. I'm not that kind of girl. No man has ever seen me without my hair curlers. <laughs> All right, so you won the first round, but I'm not giving you up. I have too many memories invested. We'll always have Paris. You and I walking down the Champs-Élysées. Two giddy kids not giving a hill of beans for a world gone crazy. A world we never made. Uh, then the Joymans marched into Paris. Uh, they wore gray and you wore blue. I remember it because it matched your eyes. <laughs> I kept clinging to one glimmering hope that maybe someday you'd come back. You loved me once, maybe you could love me again. You know your trouble, Rick. You're hokey. <laughs> hokey! Just look at the way you dress. Still with the crummy white jacket and the black pants. It's ridiculous. You look like an albino penguin. <laughs> No use pretending. You can't fool me. Your mouth says no, no, but your eyes say we, we. <laughs> Don't tell me you, uh, you didn't notice that Sam was playing our song. I'll play it again, Sam. You must remember this. A kiss is uh, just a kiss. A sigh is uh, just a sigh. Fundamental things apply as time goes by. Oh, now, don't that do something for you? Yeah, it makes me nauseous. I always hated that song. Hey, Sam, knock it off. Don't you know having a gala? Call me crazy. I can't resist you. I can't live without you. Without you, life is just an empty dream. You're disgusting. <laughs> oh, look what you did. You gave me a risk taking. <laughs> You're an animal. Do you see an animal? <laughs> Tell me the truth. There's, there's somebody else, isn't there? Well, of course, there's somebody else. <laughs> I can't win them all, but at least I tried. I don't know who he is, but you can tell him from me that he's a lucky guy. See you around, sweetheart.
So long, Rick. <laughs> hey, Lump. Bogey says you're a lucky guy. <laughs> if you need anything, just whistle. <laughs> Good night, Bogey. Good night. 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 I would have given anything to have night. Good George M. Cohan or Victor Herbert or Al Jolson. But the man who interested me most was the great Florence Ziegfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. Florence Ziegfeld. I, the great Ziegfeld, am your obedient servant and willing slave. Till life's last act curtain falls and the world awaits its reviews. Oh, I'm really overwhelmed, Mr. Ziegfeld. Having you here is certainly something that's never been done on television. Ah, oh, apparently you missed me when I was dressed as a pickle on. Let's make a deal. <laughs> a pickle? <laughs> only jesting, only jesting. Only for you, my dear. Pull yourself together. Would I possibly appear on the tube? <laughs> well, Mr. Ziegfeld, I'm really honored. Of course you are. Mm. And just as so. <laughs> Julie, I have a great surprise for you tonight. I'm going to take you back to the days when I was king, king of Broadway. When I glorified the American girl with my dollies and the follies. Oh. But first up, dinner at Delmonico's. How exciting, Mr. Ziegfeld. Could we have a pickle? <laughs> Why not? Let's fill it up, my dear. <laughs> Uh -huh. Marvelous? Tell me, what do you think? Absolutely breathtaking. No, not me, my dear, the restaurant. <laughs> just think, Julie, this is my town, my New York, my Baghdad, my Shangri-La. Well, it's just beautiful, though. And this is my suit, and my tie, and my arm, oh, dear. my pierced ear, me, Julie, and my teeth. Just think, you play your cards right one day, they may all be yours. Monsieur Ziegfeld, I have the table for you and the young lady. Ah, merci, très bien, yes. Here, my good fellow. Go out and buy yourself an American accent. Monsieur Ziegfeld, you are sick. Quite free for dinner, Julie. Well, I'll help you live with the help. Yes, poor devil, I am the Lincoln of my crowd. Just think the chef is outside, hugging my car. <laughs> I love when they grovel. I suppose it's their way of saying thanks. After all, I made Broadway what it is today. Oh, Rick. Flo, didn't Broadway help to make you what you are? Are you teasing? Why, without me, Broadway would be nothing. Why would we be like London without the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> the Eiffel Tower isn't in London. There you go. It's nothing. And that's why I say it. No, darn well, I can do without Broadway, but can Broadway do without me? Can Broadway ever do without sick folk? Convince me, I agree. I glorify the American girl. Broadway may be the oyster, but I'm the pearl. I know that well he can do without Broadway. What can Broadway do without Broadway? Can the Flores ever do without Ziggy? Well, Ziggy, what did you to know? If I would go to Broadway. Second Street, that I put Broadway there. He knows darn well he can do without Broadway. What can Broadway do without Broadway? Do without Broadway? Do without
forgive me. Broadway cannot do without you. Oh, you're right, Julie. Thank you. Ah. Monsieur Siegfeld, are you ready to order? Ah, oui, oui, yeah. Mr. Siegfeld, I hope you don't mind. We have a new waiter tonight. A young man who is trying to break into the show business. Oh, really? How old is he? 39. Uh, Jacques, uh, Jacques. <laughs> Hello, folks, this is Jack Denny. I'm here to serve you, Julie and Flo, so I hope you like me, you see, and you know. <laughs> Gee, a, a cheap rhyme, my, my favorite kind. <laughs> Very good. Tell you what, son, here's a half a hundred dollar bill. If the service is good, you'll get the other half. I could tear a phone book in half, but I could never do that. <laughs> What are you kids going to eat? Well, I believe we'll start with a George White scandalous salad, followed by a... Oh, I just remembered. Julie, we can't order. We must leave. What is it? The show, my darling, the show. Why, the curtain goes up in five minutes on one of my greatest extravaganzas. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Come, Julie. We'll munch in the night air as we walk down the Great White Way on our way to the Ziegfeld. <laughs> oh, Flo, Flo, what about the other half of the hundred? <laughs> oh, well, what's the difference? I wasn't going to spend it anyway. <laughs> Summer night. A little close. Take a look. It's my city, Julie. My city. Oh, my goodness. The Ziegfeld Folly. Ziegfeld's Roof Garden Review. The Ziegfeld's Silly Sayings of 1923. Ziegfeld's Newsboy. Ziegfeld's Lab Post. Ziegfeld's Wino. Most important Broadway person I've ever met. Oh, you bet your sweet toppings I am. Now. <laughs> Look at my street, Julie. A million lights, they flicker there. A million hearts, they quicker there. No skies of gray on the great white way. That's my Broadway melody. Come on along and listen to me. Subway train, the rattle of the taxi, the daffodils who entertain, that Angelo's and Max's way. The Broadway baby says goodnight, it's early in the morning. Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Goodnight, baby. Goodnight, milkman's on his way. I'd like to be on your show. I'm great. Here's my card. I'm a comedian. I bought my wife a mink outfit, a rifle, and a trap. The rooms were so small, the mice were hunchback. I had a date with a Siamese twin. She couldn't get away. I was married in a garage. She couldn't back out. <laughs> 
Seriously, I've been married 22 years and we've only had one argument. The last 22 years. Then I do a big finish with a gorilla in a tuxedo and a golf routine. Boom, boom, laugh, laugh. You got yourself a hit one way over. <laughs> Yeah, that's just marvelous. He certainly is. Julie's right. Hey, kid. Yeah. Well, it's two hundred dollars a week, sound of you. That that that's great. Well, you keep saying it to yourself on the way out. No, no, big fellow. Oh, am I glad to see Myrtle, you? Myrtle. Myrtle. Oh, yeah. That's an old friend of mine. The widow of one of the finest magicians in the world, the great Myrtle. Oh, my goodness, the great Myrtle. I remember him. He was the one who used to make a giraffe disappear in a milk bottle. Right. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, reappear in a sealed envelope inside Lillian Russell's bus. Oh, tell me, how did you ever get that trick? Simple, the old giraffe switch. <laughs> well, you kids go ahead and turn. I want to get that gorilla ready for the golf routine. Hey, Harry, you got that exploding pot on me? <laughs> Tell you, it must have been exciting being married to the world's greatest magician. Oh, it was. He was so romantic. I'll never forget our wedding night. He sawed me in half and carried me over the threshold. Why? <laughs> he died, he was going to try to contact me from the great beyond. Oh, and did he? Well, I don't know. After he died, I had my number changed. If there's anything I hate, it's spooks bugging me. <laughs> Julie! Julie! Tragedy is struck. Oh, no. My leading lady is locked in that refrigerator area with a singing penguin. She always with a sucker for a guy in tails. Oh, no. Don't worry. I could go on in her place. What? Oh, come on, Julie. You'd never learn a whole score in 30 sec... 30 seconds. Could you do it? Give me that score. Hold those flowers. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Doesn't she make you sick? <laughs> Good luck, you trooper, Julie. You're on. Goodbye, Murphy. Thank you.
From the tulip, from the tulip, take a tip from the tulip and look up at the sky. Don't be an old weepy willow, weepy willow, weepy willow. Don't be an old weepy willow, or the world will pass you by. Every flower knows that after every shower goes, there will be a sun big and yellow. So smile when it rains, wise up, fella. You never saw a flower under an umbrella. Take a tip from the tulip, from the tulip, from the tulip. Take a tip from the tulip and hold your head up high. And you. Join us, Mr. Florence Ziegfeld. In flowers we'll spray, we'll keep the showers away. Don't be 
Every day I am wanting you. Thank my friends, Ken Berry. Thanks, kid. And here's your tip. And the very handsome, talented Jack Cassidy. My pierced ear. And these, Julie, are my teeth. And of course, Rich Little. See you around, sweetheart. We love you, lady, Alice Ghost. No man has ever seen me without my hair curling. <laughs> and lastly, my thanks to all of you. I hope you'll be with us next week. What a good idea. It's time now to go For everything must end I'll see you soon, I know Knowing time is my friend Good night, everybody. Goodbye. moving events of the day with the crack news team. Watch the ABC Evening News with Howard K. Smith and Harry Reasoner nightly at the dinner hour. The ABC After School special will premiere next Wednesday at 4.30, 3.30 Central Time with the last of the curlews, poignant animated story of a vanishing species of birds here on ABC.